If you ride the Orange Line, your commute won't be speeding up anytime soon. We do have new information on just how long those slow zones will be in place. WBZ's Nick Giovanni has the timeline. More than a month removed from the month-long shutdown, the slowdown continues along certain stretches of the Orange Line. It's a little bit like slow. It's not as fast as before. The MBTA now says some of the speed restrictions that are still in place along the line are not expected to be lifted until December, according to a letter from General Manager Steve Poftak to Senator Ed Markey in response to the Senate hearing held in Boston earlier this month. I thought that with all the work that they did, it would be like just back to normal completely, but um, I leave the house like 10 minutes extra early just so I can get to work on time. The letter details the work that's being done on the Orange Line coming out of the closure. Work Poftac claims will bring the line closer to a state of good repair. Now for now, the letter acknowledges it's bringing trains to a slower speed, with restrictions in place along stretches near North Station, Community College, Assembly, Tufts, and Jackson Square. Are you noticing that by chance at all still? Oh, on the train, yeah, definitely. Especially when you come into Community College, yeah. it's very slow. <laughs> really? What was it before the shutdown? Um, a little bit, but now it's like worse. I feel like as long as I have enough time, it's not that bad, but I don't know how much it was really fixed. In the letter, Poftak wrote, as riders continue to return to the system, I understand the frustration many of them feel. He went on to say, we acknowledge that safety incidents have occurred and that our service levels aren't where we want them, in part due to staffing challenges that have forced us to make hard decisions that represent prioritizing safety above all else. Poftak also mentioned that he is designing a travel time dashboard for the MBTA's website they're hoping to make available this winter. Reporting from Charlestown, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.